Now we're going to look at bringing in a Photoshop document that is a little bit more sophisticated. So here we have a Photoshop document and over on the right we'll look at the layers and you can see that everything is divided up into folders. So we have a top bar which has all of the stuff that's in the top bar and if I turn on the eyeball and turn it off you can see that that's everything that's on the top bar. And then here's the menu and that's the for text, contact, about, home, and pictures. And then the rest of these guys right here are the actual pages. So here the eyeball is on the home, and we're looking at the home page. If I turn the eyeball off and then turn on the about page, this is what the about page looks like. And then if I turn on the eyeball for the pictures, there's the picture page. This is where our slideshow is going to be and then the contact page and then back to the home page again if I drop down the triangle you can see that there is definitely some sophisticated stuff here for example this layer right here and this layer right here has an image and it's using a uh, mask in order to get the effect that I want here so I went ahead and saved this file and then in Flash, which we'll toggle to now, I did the file import, import to stage and I've already gone through all of the different areas. Here's the top bar, menu, home, about, pictures, contact, and the background. And I brought them in and I tried to make them editable. And if we take a look at the menu, I left those as just editable text. But in most situations here in the home, anything that's sophisticated like this, I went ahead and made it a bitmap image with editable layer styles. And then I named the movie clip instance. So we're ready to roll here to bring this into Photoshop. I went ahead and placed the layers in their original position. I want to convert these layers to flash layers. And I'm going to set the stage to the same size as the Photoshop document. So I click OK. This is a little addendum. I forgot something as I was going through the import settings. And I want to point that out to you now. Um, as we were going through and selecting things that we were going to have uh, you know, as bitmap images with editable layer styles and if we were going to have editable text and that type of thing, I failed to point out that you can select the folder itself. So right here, the top bar folder, if I select that, notice that it is also a movie clip. So notice here that the top bar folder is a movie clip. However, the menu, I don't make into a movie clip because I want this actually to come into Flash as a folder. And this one is going to come in as just one layer on a movie clip with all of these other movie clips nested inside. So after, so we'll go take a look here. The only one that will be different will be the menu because I did not make that into a movie clip. So let's take a look at that now when I go ahead and click OK. Now when we look at the stage here, you can see that all of the information is brought over just like it was last time. However, here, notice the difference that instead of having folders for each thing, here the top bar has only one frame on it and that one frame if I take a look at that one frame here is this movie clip and it's the top bar movie clip and if I go inside of it that's where the other movie clips are nested and then back to scene one notice that the difference here is that the menu if I turn on the eyeballs for the menu um, which we can't see without seeing the top bar as well Okay, in the background, I mean. So here you can see the menu, and it comes in as a folder. So here it is as a folder with the editable text within that, and all of the other ones are coming in as a single movie clip on one frame.